Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello my dear students I am Santosh in this video we going to discuss about engineering mathematics question from vector calculus first of all let me read the question the directional derivative of the function f of x comma y is equal to x square plus y square along a line directed From zero comma zero to one comma one, evaluated at the point x is equal to one comma y is equal to one. So we want the directional derivative of the function f of x comma y. So whenever we want to find directional derivative, then it is equal to the gradient of the function, the gradient of the function dot the unit vector in whose direction we want the directional derivative. So here we want the gradient first of all we wanted to find the gradient now what is the gradient of this function the gradient of this function is going to be 2x in the x direction plus 2y in the y direction and we are finding out at the point of we are finding at the point of 1 comma 1 so it is going to be 2ax plus 2ay so we found out the gradient and in which direction we are going to do We are going to do in the direction of line joining zero comma zero and one comma one. We are doing it in the direction of zero comma zero and one comma one. So if you write the position vector through it, the position vector is given by a x plus a y. Okay. So whenever you are joining the origin with one comma one, the position vector is going to be a x plus a y. Here the vector required is a unit vector. So when you want the unit vector for this. It is given by a cap is equal to a x plus a y divided by its magnitude. Every time, if you are not having a unit vector, you can have a unit vector by dividing it by its magnitude. What is the magnitude of a x plus a y? It is root two. So the unit vector that is required for us is nothing but a x plus a y divided by root two, which gives us the unit vector. So once you get the required, then directly we can find out the directional derivative. Which is equal to two a x plus two a y dot a x plus a y by root two. So evaluating the value, it is going to be two plus two by root two, whose value is going to be two root two. You can find out what is the value of two root two. The value of two root two is equal to two point eight two eight. Right, so this is our answer. It falls in the range of range is given by two point seven to two point nine. I hope this video is useful for you. Please don't forget to like and share with your friends. Thank you.